guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome if not thank you so much for returning i appreciate the likes the loves the comments the everything that you guys do to make sure that we keep growing yo it's been a whole while yo it's been what two months two and a half or three i don't know but it's been a while um guys your life has been happening things have been happening um my voice sounds bluey anyway um yeah man I, I i have been working like you know work outside of this um yeah man making television is eh. don't encourage your kids to do it joking <laughs> but yeah man um my work is very demanding so i couldn't be on here as much as i wanted to be um but i'm fine i'm doing okay um i hope you guys are doing okay i hope you guys are um in high spirits i hope you guys are still chasing those dreams yeah guys yeah and fatigue rest you'll chase the dreams um but yeah anyway um we're back and we're back with another vlog so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you guys back basically so i have been recording i just wasn't piecing um it together for a vlog basically do you know what i'm saying so it will feel a little bit all, all over the place because i'll just be taking you guys through a few days um the past few months um but yeah i'm hoping to be consistent i'm hoping to be um that girl that actually takes this very seriously um yeah let's get this vlogging thing going Welcome to the first official Top 50 Nurse Hero Awards. The Nalanga Nipin Divare Nimuk Ororo and Nich Yavera Kingwechi Yamata Wasabulashi Kasabili. We are coming to you live from Pretoria. We are on the red carpet and we want to know what people are wearing, who they're wearing, and what they expect to see tonight. So I just wanted to show you guys a cute little bag that my husband got for me at Fushini. Um, he says, according to him, my bags look almost similar. So he wanted to get me something that looks a bit different from the usual. I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, this is definitely not what I would buy, but I think it's really, really cute. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. One thing about my husband, guys, my husband has an eye. That man will choose beautiful stuff for you. Really, really appreciate it. Absolutely obsessed with this. I cannot wait to actually use it when I go out for lunch or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know when I go somewhere. So pretty. Thank you, baby. He also got me this beautiful wallet. Is it a wallet or a purse? I am only so confused. But anyway, he got me this um, wallet slash purse, whatever you want to call it, from Fashini also. One thing about Fashini, one thing I truly appreciate about them is that they will give us 
dupes of high-end products at an affordable price. I think this was um, 299 yeah, it was 300 Um, It's so beautiful, guys. I'm absolutely obsessed. This is the best purse in my, in my thing, in my collection. I have others. Um, oh, you know, there's this other one that I bought when I was in the US. It's orange. It's absolutely stunning. I cannot find it anywhere in South Africa. Um, but yeah, I love that one and I love this one. Um, and this other one that my husband got for me. I don't know where he got it, but it's gray. It's pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, this is what he got me. This is giving expensive this is giving i've got my life figured together all figured out and i figured together anyway guys um yeah this is this this is it from my husband um really really appreciate how thoughtful he is jump into the car on a friday night i want to drive with you looking for a bar in the nearest town i've never seen a sky so blue to be yours are doing well um it's a tuesday today it's a tuesday um i'm gonna do a few things there's a friend of mine who's traveling from another province so um i think you guys know her like um because my camera looks skew. i think you guys know her um she what's this I think we, we, I once did a vlog and she was in a dreary and Eva. We went out for a lunch date. So she's coming over to see me. Um, she's not going to stay for long. She's here for work. So I'm thinking maybe we should do like a cute coffee date if she actually agrees. Because one thing about those two particular friends, right? Um, they're always so keen on doing things for me or like paying stuff for me. But when I do it, they'll find like 10 million reasons why I shouldn't do it. No, you can't because this and this and this and that, blah, 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 blah. There's always just so many reasons, man. Um, I really have two extremely generous friends who don't know how to receive sometimes. They love giving. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to do like a cute little coffee date with her and then just a bit of 
I'm going to do a bit of Christmas shopping after that. Um, just a little bit. I've started. Um, I don't know which Christmas tree to buy. My husband wants like a um, green one, right? Like the traditional green one. And then I want a white one. But also like South African Christmas trees are not like American Christmas fall Christmas trees, I guess. Um, I don't know if like people actually have real Christmas trees in their houses, but anyway, um, yeah, they don't look the same. Like ours look, ours look, they look thin and like, they're not full, man. They don't give that, I didn't have that thing, you know what I'm saying? So I want to see if I can find something fuller, something that's nicer. Cause the ones that I saw were not, you know. They're just thin and yeah but anyway i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna watch i'm excited to watch an episode um i think it's the max right i'm not if i'm pronouncing it right the max or the max um here's a thought i really love what they're doing with their podcast i think they're bringing in couples this season generally they would just have a conversation with conversations between themselves um and i really found most of their conversations really enlightening um especially because i'm obviously young and married and there's a lot of things that i can resonate to with regards to what they were talking about and also i'm christian then they're christian uncompromising christians which makes me very happy you know you just watch them um and you're like you know what they're on full force like they literally fully in for jesus and it's just refreshing to just see like you know a young or relatively young couple and not, they're not as young as us but like a relatively young couple going all in for jesus you know so i think they're gonna have Cabello and Mohale Mohale this week, which I, I, I really like Cabello. I, I, I like I like what she stands for and I like how graceful and beautiful and just how sold out she is for Jesus, you know. Um so I'm gonna watch that and then call it a day. I'll see you guys later. Last up. Hey guys. Hey. So <laughs> So, I'm wearing the wrong outfit. Ah, man, this <laughs> weather this is cold weird. Weather, can you believe it? It's weird, but anyway, guys, we are going to Seattle Coffee. Well, yeah, it's my first time. It's her first time. She didn't want how to. How embarrassing! <laughs> but, <my age. laughs> let me show you guys how it looks. Let me show you guys. There it is. bar bar zuru is opening. Okay, let's walk there. We got we got banana bread and a chop chip cookie. It is the simple things in life. Our drinks are ready. The only contenting. Hey guys, so I've jumped to the other side of this place. Okay, there's a car coming. Um, I got a butterscotch latte, whatnot, now, and I'm worried because, like, caffeine, like, in the and baby girl decided, you know what, I'm just gonna risk it. It's really so good, but anyway, see you guys later. If you everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever, 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 forever I'm loving this moment, can we stay here forever, I'm loving this
this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment And I'm and I'm I'm gonna let you finish, but I always say, guys, marriage is easily the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. You do marriage, and I say do intentionally, yeah. right? Because you have to actively participate. Yeah. It doesn't just happen to you. You have to do marriage, right? Yeah. But I wouldn't be half the man that I am today had it yeah. not been. You, you know when they say when you when your problems are coming to comfort you but the problem <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I'm saying oh, yeah. oh but that chiseling that sharpening yeah. that you know yeah. always needing to go away and uh, yeah and that also with what you're asking is that I wouldn't be this vulnerable and so masculine sure. mm. because I remember growing up I've, I've been actually I actually went through some bullying and all those things so growing up I remember being bullied and being pushed around, there's a story I'll probably tell one day, just not now. But and then and, and, and then I got to NSA in grade ten and I think for the first few months they had this thing where they actually bullied the new kids. Well they beat down. It's called, it was called a beat down. And I remember on the seventh month of me being in high school in NSA, I remember punching somebody so hard, right? And realizing, oh, I'm actually able to dominate another man, right? And also growing up, I used to be pushed around so much and I would cry, right? Or I'd run to my mom. And it was always told, yeah, you shouldn't cry. You're, you're, you're a man. You're, you know, the, the normal yeah, toxic yeah, yeah. stuff they mm. teach. I know everything. I know every look. 
because I'm just that, you know, I'm a, I, I yeah, I'm a bit of a, a, a detailed kind of maniac. I love this. Oh, this white one is pretty. Okay, this is beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Gorgeous. How are we going to tie this? You've got that. Okay, so I will answer. Good morning, guys. Well, it's mid morning on my end. Um, I'm going to close this vlog here. But before I close this vlog, um, also excuse this angle. I don't think it's the best of angles. But anyway, we're going to make it work. Um, yeah, I want to close this vlog. But before I close it, I just wanted to have a chit chat with you guys. A quick one. I'm not going to be long. Um, I just want to know how this, guys, this year has been for you guys. Because wow, guys. In... Lindam Toba's words, like, I'm being for real this year almost took me out. Like, on all fronts, man, the only part that sort of made sense to me was my personal life, my marriage. That was the only part that actually made sense. But on all fronts, career, friendship, family, yo, guys, anything and everything, like, I was just riding on a wave of you know constant disappointments like from people that i trusted from people that i sort of like was close with from like colleagues or former colleagues rather um it has been such a tough year guys um and <laughs> i put linda mtoba's that clip from linda mtoba <laughs> It almost, <laughs> it legit almost took me out. I'm not even lying. And there's so many people who responded. They were like, "Yo, it also almost took us out too." Like it's it's so it's so weird that like this year has just been tough for so many people. Um, yeah, man, this go a song, man. It was like mgo.com a collective mgo.com like hectic man man every day your guys it was so bad um i mean it's still bad for me i'm trying to like tap back into like my relationship with god it has been affected severely because of things that i've been through um i remember the other day i was so vulnerable with god i told him that listen man i've been asking you for things this year and you've just been giving me um well, I guess what you feel is right and sometimes you've just been saying no and I don't know if I can trust you enough to like be my provider or give me what I'm asking you know like the Bible says God gives you the desires of your heart and I just went to God the one day and I was like I don't I don't know if I can trust you I don't know if I can be vulnerable with you I don't know if I can I can just like flat out to just you know yield i i don't know man like it's almost like the more i yield to you the more i surrender to you the more disappointed i become and that is very draining like to say the least you know especially as my father especially as somebody that i like i genuinely don't have any other god i don't have any other person that i can rely on i don't have i don't have an alternative god bro i don't this is it it's jesus or nothing and if it's jesus or nothing and um all I'm getting is just like, like consistent no's and if not no's, it's like answers, but they are also very confusing, you know. Um, it's very difficult to just like, you know, just ease into my relationship with God. Um, I hope these cars that are passing are not disturbing. But yeah, guys, it's been, it's been so hectic. Just even just going before God has just been like a challenge for me. I'm trying. <laughs> Yesterday I was praying. I was in the bathroom. Um, I was bathing and I, I told God, I'm like, listen, I'm not going to come here and, and pretend. Like I was praising God and I was, I was telling him that I don't feel like it. I don't feel like coming before your presence and being your beloved daughter and praising you and being like, you know, you know whatever you know I, I just don't feel like being here but 
I'm wise enough and old enough to know that I don't have an alternative. I don't have a choice. I don't have anyone else to pray to. And I know that this needs to happen. I, I like, you know, I was like, I don't want to be here, but I know I need to be in your presence. I don't want to be in your presence, but I know I need to be in your presence for the sake of my life, for the sake of my salvation. Um, and I know that men are bounce back. Um, it's just that I don't want the interaction between me and God to be like, you know, pretentious or performative. I wanted him to know that like, I genuinely am very disappointed. I'm genuinely running on like empty at this point and i just don't know how to surrender to you because i don't know if i can fully trust that my surrender would do anything and i know that it will but it just doesn't feel like it like basically what i'm trying to say is that i'm just a christian who's running on feelings which i know is bad but i can't help it um but anyway guys um been a tough year um it's been hectic but we're still standing we're still believing that somehow god will make it work i guess um how are you guys how are you guys doing um how's everything yo 2023 guys mm -mm. i can't even say i i'm even scared to say my pale and 2024 must come because one thing about the years the more you call the other one to come in the west side it becomes so now you just sit there like yo dog like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i just want life to get better man i just want i'm a poop for a phase yeah like yo guys can we just be in our like answered prayer prayers era like we're just tired of like sitting in one place but anyway i'm done venting um i hope you guys are well i will see you guys in the next one should be very soon and yeah i think i'm gonna be bringing a few more vlogs your way i think i might be not might let me say i will i'll be doing vlogmas um i'll be doing vlogmas because i missed vlogtober i was working during the october um period so i just couldn't commit fully to youtube but we're back um and we're gonna do christmas things i'm so excited because i've already started christmas shopping and i cannot wait to go through the christmas journey with you guys i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next one